Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys with me to do some cleaning and reorganizing for my room. And then later I'm going to be showing you guys an actual room tour because I am getting out of this place in about two months, which is crazy. So I thought, why not do some cleaning today? Um, originally, I was just going to actually declutter and like not do any changes to the room. But then I was like, I still have two months months left and I really want to get some work done here and you know for me in order to get things done I feel like once in a while I need a change in scenery so I'm going to be taking a lot of things down reorganizing that putting them at places I want them to be and yeah so it's mainly just going to be moving around some desks and probably my shelf but I don't really know yet so we'll see how that goes and that should be it all right, I'm starting off by removing all of my textbooks, organizers, and just whatever I have off the shelf. Now I'm moving the shelf to the right of my bed and replacing it at where my original bedside table was located. I made sure to wipe everything off before putting my items back onto the shelf. Then I decided to add an additional desk to the left of my original desk as an expansion to my workspace. I am now placing my monitor and keyboard on the desk as well as a few other accessories and stationaries. I went ahead and took out my pens and organized them in a six compartment organizer from Muji. And I'll make sure to have everything I mention in this video linked below, but if I miss anything, please just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And here I just wanted to show you guys that I literally used so many of these Muji 0.3 millimeter black pins. After I moved some items to my new desk, I went back to my original desk to clean out the drawers. To declutter, I basically took everything out and evaluated which items could be discarded and which items I wanted to keep. Then based on its category, I placed them either in the trash or back into the drawer. I also found a few more pieces of paper from first year, so I made sure to file those away properly. And lastly, I am adding a few books to my shelf, and that is wrap on the clean with me portion. Moving on to the actual desk and room tour. So first, here is a general overview of my room. From the left, I have my entire workspace, followed by a bedside table, my bed, and a shelf on the right. Let's just begin at the left of my desk, where I usually keep my tripod, which I'm recording with right now, my microphone for recording voiceovers, and all of my stationary items, and a planner. So this is the Lightspeed planner, which I got around three years ago, so I'm not sure if it even still exists, but I think it's super useful for the summer when I don't have a lot going on, but I have some tasks that I want to focus on completing. As for my pens, you can see them in this organizer from Muji. I have an assortment of Muji gel pens, mechanical pencils, zebra mild liners, Kuretake Zig brushables, zebra sarasas, Kakuyo vivid dry gel pens, and many more. In a separate container next to that, I have all of my zebra brush and regular highlighters. These were my all-time favorite pens when I used to take notes by hand, but now that I've mostly converted to typing, they are more of a decoration on my desk. Then finally in this small container I have my exacto knife, glue stick, a chapstick, whiteout, and some gift cards at the back. And that is about it for the left side. Obviously in the middle I have my LG monitor which is connected to my Mac as well as my mechanical keyboard. Moving on to the right side is where I keep most of my electronics and accessories. First, I have this 30 minute sand glass, which I use as an alternative to Pomodoro apps or websites. I would highly recommend something like this or just an actual clock to track your study time if you get distracted by your phone easily. I also have my AirPods, literally what got me through online school since it was really useful because I could multitask while listening to my lectures. Then I have 
have my phone on this stand as well as my Apple Watch on its charging station. And that's pretty much what is on the first part of my desk space. Continuing to the right, I have another desk. This was actually the original desk I had. And this one has an added shelf and a whiteboard to it. Starting with the shelf, at the top I have this router as well as a few sets of earphones in case I forget to charge my AirPods. So I just keep them in this tape dispenser with the blade removed. In the middle shelf is where I keep my books. The idea behind this was that hopefully by keeping them within reach, I would be able to read more. And finally at the bottom, I have my Logitech keyboard as well as my iPad. I usually like to use these two pieces together since it's much more convenient to type on a keyboard than an actual iPad. And since this desk comes with a set of drawers, we'll just go into them briefly. In this smaller drawer on the left, I keep items that I tend to access a lot, such as some washi tape, my cord for my microphone, Apple pencil refills, my phone case, and a bunch of decorative stickers, screen protectors, and extra stationery. In the bigger drawer is where I keep everything that I don't usually access. So I have a few journals from the past, some phone cases for previous phones I've had, chocolate, notepads, jewelry, calculators, and pen cases. And to the right of the drawer, I have some random coins, a book stand, magnets, binder clips, a traveler's notebook, and some lettering kits and letters I've received from my friends. Honestly, this drawer is sort of a mess, so it's just most mostly for storage and you know, it's not a big deal. And so that's pretty much it for the drawers. And we'll now move away from my desk space to face the other side of the room where I have Kirby sitting on top of my alarm clock and my bed next to the bedside table. I also have a few plushies alongside my pillow on my bed, but other than that, there's not much to show for my bed. So we'll just move on to the shelf. There's four levels to the shelf. In the middle, I have my Polaroid camera as well as my diffuse. User. Below, I have a set of drawers from Ikea, storing lined and dotted paper, mail that I still need to go through and deal with, some notebooks, and a binder. And to the right, I just have a bunch of textbooks from previous school years. Finally, at the very bottom, I keep more stationary supplies, such as binders, extra whiteout, and some highlighters and Tombow brush pens. And with all of that brings us back to my workspace, concluding this room slash desk tour. I honestly really Really like how I've rearranged my room with a much bigger workspace, so I'm definitely going to try to make the most out of it here in the last two months before I move out. With that said, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out more of my content, and all of my social media will be linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!